Oh no. You can like see my man boobs. <laughs> like drop the shirt now. Oh gosh. Hello everybody. This is uh Alex Sturgeon, Hobby Town Hobby Plex here for uh -huh. Hobby Plex After Hours. First first one in a little while. Um tonight I have got the brand new B63 point or B6.3, the dirt version that I'm gonna be putting together. Um Kind of wanted to do a build video on it, but to be honest with you, I'm not going to have much time because um, night pretty much through every day from that point on for a week and a half is going to be um, me and the dirt track and the ProTech Spring Offroad Championship. So um, I'm just going to get as far as I can here tonight, try to get the rest done uh, tomorrow and Saturday and hope I got a car to race um, next weekend. So. Uh, joining us tonight is a special guest. We've got uh, we got Hydra. Here, hold on. He's our uh, he's our bearded dragon, and uh, we're gonna <laughs> hey, look at him. He's like, "What am I doing?" We're gonna. What are you looking at? We're gonna keep him over here. Oh no, he wants to be over here. Look at that. Hi, dude. We're going to put him over here in the heat. Got a heat lamp. He wants to go back over there. Look at him. Anyways, so, yeah. So, uh, I'm already on page two. I started a little bit last night and then just uh, got it, got tired, went to bed. So, um, long day of work today. But, uh, got through it and now here we are. Nobody in the chat yet. It's kind of weird. I'm going to go grab my phone. You want to watch it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I need my... I'll be right back. Got my trusty drill here. Uh oh. Weird. What'd you do? I forgot I left my phone down here. So oh. I just charger. Huh. What's wrong? Well, I can't see my chat. It's really strange. Open it on a new tab. Oh, that's yeah, fine. Whatever. Uh, so anyways, uh, I'll just put this here, I guess. Daniel's here. Peter's here. Cole's on here. Okay. Um, here we go. So I'm on, uh, like I said, I'm on page two already. And, uh, So far, not a whole lot's different. <laughs> I will say the, uh, interesting part of, uh, I 
to put a screw in the wrong thing. Because I'm dumb. Not paying attention. I had a really long day at work. Thursdays are always really long now. It's open to close. So that's... Uh, I really like the uh, the changes they made to the... Let's see if I can show you guys. To the bell crank already. I can already tell that there's way less slop um, going on there. So that's going to be really nice when it's uh, when it's all together like that. Um, just for uh, durability's sake, I pretty much always go with the metal aluminum uh, bulkhead. Um, I was going to get the aluminum uh, steering as well, but I'll... I'll take my chances with my car. His car always put metal uh, bell cranks in there because he likes to break them. So, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of nice that a lot of these parts are going to be able to, or all the parts, basically, I think can can be updated. It's pretty cool. You don't see that all the time. Daniel, we do. We got a whole bunch of them in stock. Good question. Um, we have lots of bulkheads, uh, lots of steering racks in aluminum, both parts. A lot of times uh, they've actually been – they were actually out of the actual uh, – rack for a while and we got all those in and we also have the arms as well so when i build his car um you know we'll probably go from there i think what i'm going to do is uh if emerson wants to race we'll uh we're going to uh probably share this car for the for the spring champs so i hope that uh hope he doesn't break it oh yeah you doing 40 plus shane alberico is going to florida Next, I think it's coming up pretty soon to take part in their Super Cup. No, not the Super Cup. They're ta they're doing the um, the uh, J Concepts race. They got moved. That's pretty cool. For those of you guys that weren't in the know, uh, Emerson's got his dragon down here, and uh, he's hanging out with us for a little while. He's got uh, he looks sleepy. Hydra. It's actually past his bedtime. Um, both of them. It's actually past both of them, both of their bedtimes. And uh, yeah, um, that spring race, what did I do this week? So we got <laughs> in a flurry, uh, we got the awards ordered, uh, the t-shirts ordered, everybody's getting a t-shirt and we got um, a backdrop made for the pro tech race, which is really exciting. It's going to look really cool. It's going to look really professional. After the races on Saturday, we're going to be tearing up the track, um, getting all the pipe off of it, taking down all the banners. Um, anybody that wants to help next week, I could really help. need help with uh, cleaning, you know, just uh, sweeping and cleaning around the track area, making everything look really nice and spiffy. I'm going to go turn my Xbox off. I think I want to. Um, that's always really important to kind of put on a fresh face. Yeah, I don't know. Emerson just went up. He might have left his Xbox on, so that would suck if, uh, if he did.
Not dial up internet. Not on my end. Actually, I think my wife signed us up for Gigablast, so our internet should be good. I don't know. Was it on? Hmm? It was on Disney Plus. Are we still online? Yeah. Well, what the heck, man? I wasn't playing any online games. Me, 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 me. Didn't draw that much in there. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Cole Webb's on here. I uh, hooked him up with his with his buggy, with uh, Emerson's buggy, actually. Since we were going to get new ones, it's kind of that time of the year for me. Kind of, kind of freshen up a little bit, you know, and uh, get everything real fresh. Racing, uh, more than likely I'll be racing 40 plus and mini truggy at the spring champs. If, uh, maybe just 40 plus, I don't know yet. I haven't really made up my mind. Daniel, I do try to get a new car every year. I'm not one that, uh, that likes to buy a bunch of parts and put it on. I figure if I'm going to do that, I might as well just buy a new car. So I have like, I have too many associated boxes in here now since, uh, since I made the conscious effort. What is the best size KV motor and ESC combo for bashing my MT410? So I think, I think that if you're gonna bash a 410, you should do it right and uh, go big on the motor. I think you get yourself a uh, castle system like a like a 2200 or uh, even a 2650 or something like that. So you can really do some backflips. I think that truck can handle it. And uh, I think uh, it's not – that truck's no fun to drive if it's not overpowered, right? So – Go big. Get yourself a, a big KV motor and and have at it. I wonder if she'll eat on video. Dude, it's past his bedtime. Been pretty cool. Okay. Get the battery foam here. I always put this battery foam on and then it, uh, I always somehow find a way to have it peel off no matter what I do. Lance, I, I, I used to care about the better shafts and the Kashima shocks and all that stuff, but the last car I had, um, that I ran, you know, all year and I didn't really care. I didn't put any of that stuff on it and I honestly couldn't tell a difference. So I'm sure somebody could tell a difference, but I, I kind of don't really. And honestly, I only got like the Kashima coated shocks cause I thought they looked cool. I didn't really care about whether or not they worked better, but yeah. Steve RC. Yeah, the Centon's allowed in Plex, dude. The only the only race that it 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 uh the only races where we actually have like a rule about Plex spec is our big races like this one coming up. And that's only because um look at him. <laughs> but that's only because uh other other out of town um, racers, you know, are used to having a little bit more uh, structured classes for their beginner classes. So um, 
Yeah. Plus it kind of limits having it 15 and under and two wheel drive only kind of kind of levels it out a little bit too, you know, but yeah, for the, for its regular plex spec rules for summer series and for, uh, um, uh, the, uh, the new Saturday truck series. So have at it. It's going to be fun. Hydra's pretty active over there. Our uh, bearded dragon, he's uh, he's like moving around and stuff a little bit more than I thought he was going to be. Mm -hmm. Cole Webb, uh, seventeen five is what I want you to get into. So, um, you guys should be getting into uh, independent stock buggy. Okay, that's where you should go um, after Plex spec. I think uh, I think both you and I think both you and your brother would do really well racing uh, independent seventeen five. There's a whole new crop of kids that that uh, you know I talked about this in the podcast on Monday um, that there's kind of this new crop of kids coming out of Plex spec that and they're all pretty good and uh, it's going to be fun to watch them watch you guys all kind of grow and and get better um together you know um i think if uh if ariana and, uh, and alex um if 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 those two you know stick with it and uh um you already had bender move out of plex spec you got sam saunders then you got the web brothers i think you guys are already you know good enough or if you get a buggy um you could be pretty competitive in independent buggy and uh that's fun to watch it's fun to see let me go get him some more and see if we'll eat on camera what if he runs away or something it's okay i'll be good whatever uh okay what am i doing where am i at here need uh, uh we don't need that we do need this here Hey, what are you doing? I don't know if you guys can, you guys can't really see him on camera yet, can he? Hydra's right there. He's our dragon, our bearded dragon. He's eyeballing me. What? What do you want? What am I doing? John. Well, he moved a little bit. I think he's watching TV. <laughs> Look at him. He's like watching the screen. Uh, Dan, yeah, two-wheel drive vehicles only. So it's uh, under 15 and two-wheel drive vehicles. So the slash two-wheel drive, you're good to go. And we only, you know, we only lock up Plex spec like that, you know, once or twice a year. Every other, every other race, it's, it's a free for all. You can run whatever you want. I just, like I said, I just do it for that one. Cause it, it kind of helps. Um, it kind of helps narrow it down a little bit. Yeah, Emerson's got a UV light. It's mm -hmm. uh it's upstairs in our in our uh crap. It's upstairs in our uh um in what the do tank. You, yeah, in the tank. So it's really he's actually this is past his bedtime, so I'm a little I'm a little weirded out that uh that Emerson's actually got him out. He's okay. Uh, I, th Peter asked, uh, what motor is going in my car here? And I think, um, 
Um, I think I'm going to stick with a 6.5. I can always turn it down if it's too fast. So I'm uh, pretty sure I'm just going to stick with that. So here's that new um, built-in servo mount thingy. So I've got my old, I got my old J Concepts um, servo mount, which I probably should just at this point should just give to Cole because <laughs> apparently I'm not going to need him now. So um, yeah. Three by six. Okay. Uh, tack B42. I'm building an ET410 uh, for next weekend. Does the Plex have a 5.5 five in stock? I think we do. I'm pretty sure we got a couple. And, oh, crap. I'm pretty sure that we've at least got a Reedy one. We might have... Uh, We might even have some Trinity motors down there, uh, modifieds. So I'm pretty sure we do. I'm gonna try to find us some uh, some truck tires for next week. I'm just gonna see if uh, I can get them direct from J Concepts. Hopefully, we can find some. Uh, Brett Wallach wants to know if we've been doing crawler nights indoors or outdoors. So we, uh, we tried to do it indoors this winter and nobody really showed up. So I kind of just, honestly, I was so busy this last two months, um, using Tuesdays to work on the track that I, uh, I didn't really mind not having crawler night on Tuesdays. Um, but this last Tuesday we, uh, we were back outside. We had um, Matt Lang taking the win. Jim Winklebauer got second. I got third. Um, I can't remember his name. Got fourth. There was a uh, uh, Cody and the other guy. Who I can't remember his name. So the, I think there was seven of us, six or seven of us. So that was a pretty good start. Um, we're not going to be doing it this Tuesday, but the following Tuesday. Um, like April, what is that, 27th or something like that, we'll be back at it for good. Uh, we shouldn't be having um, any uh, disruptions, um, except for the occasional Tuesday where I got to do something to the track, but uh, it hasn't been going on a lot. So once once we get into our summer schedule and um, I kind of get into a rhythm. I'm, I'm usually, if I need to do anything to the track, I'm usually done by four o'clock. So, um, it should be a little bit easier to keep Tuesdays going for the summertime, but we're back outside. Um, I got a couple things that I'm building, uh, that I got here at the house that I'll be taking uh, back out there to the to crawler course to add to it. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, Dan says that uh, his daughter, Sid, came in second in the B main. She was super happy uh, talking about it on the way home. Yeah, dude, I love Plex spec, man. Emerson's a previous Plex spec champ, 2014. That was seven years ago. That's crazy. Uh, Cole Webb says, um, does the Plex sell the server horn and, uh, ball cup for the B62? We do. Like I said, I got a whole bunch of parts here. I need to get to you. Um, I'll try to bring with me either tomorrow or Saturday. I, I got this whole bin sorry, full of parts, so I should have them in there. So we should be fine. Um, but we do carry them too. Uh, I might not have a metal servo horn. 
highly recommend getting that, getting, uh, getting that guy right there. Uh, Brett, yeah, you can run your Capra. We're, uh, we don't care. <laughs> Tuesdays are just, uh, super laid back. Um, we just want you to come and get through the course. Um, yeah, that'd be fine. The, uh, the gates might be a little tight for a Capra, um, with, with as wide as a Capra is, but, uh, probably make up for it with as capable as that, uh, that truck is too. So yeah, I bet you that'd be a good challenge. I think it'd be fun. How much time difference does it affect battery life going from a five, five to a six, five ish? Not really, not hardly anything at all. Cause you, you still got to gear it right. Right. So if, so like, um, with this car with a six, five, I'll be running a 20 tooth pinion or 21. And then if I was running a five, five, then I'd be running a 19 or a 20. And if I was running a seven, five, then you're running a 22 or a 23. So even, even though the, it's a faster motor, you still have to gear it correctly. So you, it kind of works itself out. Okay. Uh, a dig? No, probably. I we since uh technically it's there, there's more class twos running. Um, probably wouldn't let you use the dig. I've got a I've got an SCX ten three that uh, um I've brought out instead of my other truck, and uh, it does okay. I mean it. it I wish I could use the dig, <laughs> but uh, even then, I I even though I have it um on that one. Yeah, no dig. You'd have to run without a dig. Now, if we got, let's say, um, let's say five guys have a pro, uh, a class two truck, but there's like three or four guys that have a class three. Well, then we just run a class three, and then you could run a dig all you want. So, um, I'll have my, I'll have my truck with me, um, my SCX ten three. So maybe we can have a class three. That'd be fun. I like being able to use the dig. The uh, the SCX 10.3 without the dig, not my favorite truck in the whole wide world. With the dig, one of my favorite trucks ever. Okay. Uh, where are we at here? All right. I'm going to get this guy. I've got to take these little balls off. <laughs> I'm going to go put him back. Okay. He seems mad is he mad i'd be mad too if i got woken up and taken to a cold basement look at his chin it's getting black yeah he's getting mad oh. yeah i'd be pissed especially if it's past my bedtime i'd be like dude what are you doing okay where am i at here Top plates, three by fourteen. Should be these. I got Kenny painting my body for me again, so that'll be good. Uh. Cole Webb wants to know if I need assistance for the track build. So, um, yeah, here's the timeline for that. Um, so, uh, I'll come in, um, Sunday at about five o'clock, see if anybody's on the track. If nobody's on the track, I'll start working on it right away. If there's people still running on the track on Sunday, then I'll wait till we close. Um, basically Sunday night, until I get tired, which is usually about midnight. Um, I'm just moving dirt. I'm just, I'm on the tractor, got my headphones on. I'm either jamming out or I'm listening to comedy or something like that. And, uh, trying to move as much dirt as I can, trying to get everything kind of set. There's a, I'll show you guys. So, um, this is a uh, spring champs layout. So straight away, coming down right now there's a big 
pile of dirt that goes all the way up here and kind of comes back here, that's all going to go away. This is going to be relatively flat. And then there's going to be a jump here. And then this is going to be relatively flat. And then we're going to have a rhythm section in the back. And then this is raised up. And this is coming down. And hopefully this is going to be some sort of cool uh, kind of, uh, I guess, uh, kind of a whoop section, I guess. Um, big triple right here. And then you're going to come up. And there's going to be a lot of dirt moved over here. Um, the elevation is going to be uh, um, substantial. So, uh, yeah. So Sunday will be me trying to get a lot of this dirt moved around. I kind of have a game plan. And then uh, hopefully by Monday night, say Monday afternoon, we'll start um, raking and tamping and jumps. And that's where I would need some help. So, um um, and then, uh, and then all day Tuesday, and then we finished it up Wednesday and try to get the track painted Wednesday night. Um, I could also use help, uh, just kind of picking up around the track, um, straightening up, cleaning, um, fixing anything that might be busted. There's a couple things I can think of. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's always something to do, uh, especially, especially for the spring race. We kind of use it as almost like a spring clean type thing. So yeah, Brett, you're, yeah, that, uh, dude, Tuesday's, uh, um, Tuesday should be fun. So in two weeks, um, you know, I'll, I'll definitely promote it this week some more just to let everybody know that, uh, you know, now that it's summertime and we have some light, uh, we'll be back out at outside. And, uh, I got to go get some more tennis balls cause all my gates disappeared over the winter time. I don't know where any of them are. Good night. So good night, dude. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to see you out there. And, uh, like I said, um, I wouldn't mind running two classes as long as we have enough light, you know, if, if 30 people show up with class two, that might get kind of tough, but we, maybe I could always have somebody, um, somebody else, you know, score or whatever. Um, Steve, I have not looked into, uh, how much all these parts cost, but I'm going to guess that the, uh, I'm going to guess the steering parts are probably 14 bucks or so without looking it up. That's just a guess. I don't know. i have to look it up. You have to remind me tomorrow. I'll be at work at two o'clock. Where is the hinge pin brace? That's kind of weird. Wonder if it's uh I wonder if it's uh not there. Uh, Peter, we don't have any B3.3 uh, parts yet. In fact, I just, uh, today I just made sure that a couple other ones were actually put on uh, back order. So yeah, we actually don't have anything in stock yet other than the car and we got the car yesterday. So yeah. And there's no date on when they're supposed to be there. So not really sure. Gosh darn it.
Yeah, I was a little butt hurt <clears throat> by my uh, my crawler on Tuesday. It wasn't quite working as well as hoped. So I'm. Uh, I also need to do a little bit of work on my on my truck. Uh, John, I did not get to those motors. Um, we got busy, and uh, unfortunately, I could not get to anything back there. But um, more than likely, Tim or Jeff tomorrow will uh, get all those um, tags figured out, and uh, we can start getting all that stuff out on the floor because right now it's uh, – there, we don't know where anything's at. It's just a big mess. Uh, yeah, I did not put a flat skid on my element this time. That's one of the things I kind of wish I, maybe I, maybe I'll put, I might put one on. Um, I was trying to use the, the, uh, kit geometry this time around. Um, but I can already tell that it's, it's, I'm actually, so I have this, these really big reefs sliders on there. And they weigh a lot, and I like how they weigh a lot. But at the same time, they keep getting kind of like in the way. Um, so I'm actually thinking about getting taking those things off and trying to put skinnier sliders on. Um, so uh, we have some SSD sliders that actually work with the Element um, plastic slider mounts that I might try. So I don't know. I'm uh, I'm on the fence about what I need to do with that one. So Jackson wants to know if I'm excited to watch the Winter uh, Soldier tonight or the uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier tonight. I am. I uh, I really like that show. Um, it's uh it's really building up to this, uh, um, John Walker, uh, us agent kind of evil captain America storyline. So I'm hoping that, uh, I'm hoping they don't pull any punches and just kind of go with how it's, how it's been laid out in the comics before, you know? Look up fish crawler parts. Joey Carlson wants to know what factory team parts you're going to get for my car. Um, I don't know, man. I'm, uh, I tend to run stuff kind of just box stock. Like I didn't even change. Um, I hardly even changed the setup on my six, two, um, Will Brinton's always, uh, giving me crap for that, but, um, I can always like how the car drove. So I never really, I never really, uh, um, changed a whole lot. So I might not put a whole lot on here unless something super cool comes around. Kind of bummed out my J concepts, uh, servo mount doesn't quite work on this one <laughs> this car anymore it's kind of lame uh cole uh i will have a tonneau truggy hopefully soon um 
so I've been wanting to do these build videos for YouTube. I was going to do one with this car, but like I said, I'm just, I just don't have the time. Um, cause I want to get it done before the spring champs, but I still have this stupid car to build. Um, Emerson's engine is supposed to show up tomorrow. So I will be building that one. That's the, uh, the 48 2.0 and then the, uh, the nitro truggy, the new one, um, hopefully I get the first, I'm, I'll be in the first batch of it and, uh, we'll have it in my hands at the end of April. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed because, um, that's Emerson really, 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 really wants to race, um, truggy. So and as long as he really wants to race, then I'm willing to uh, help him race. Otherwise, it'll just be mine. Either way. So, right? Yeah, the Techno Mini Truggy build was phenomenal. So, actually, the e buggy was great too. The. Uh, that car. <laughs> that car is great. Very easy to put together. Nothing crazy. Everything fit like it was supposed to. Um, it was good stuff. So. So. I'm actually missing the front brace on this car right now. Um, hopefully it's not... Hopefully it's in one of these packages, um, but if it's not, then I will have to take it apart again and uh, and put it on. But I'm just going to kind of work past it. So right now my arms are going to be going back and forth. That's kind of lame. I could use a spacer, but you're supposed to have a front brace. So, But for now, I'm just going to skip it. And... Uh, and call it good. So, uh, it does not. Um, I just went ahead and got one. Uh, Joey Carlson wants to know: Does that thing come with an aluminum bulkhead? Um, nope. I just, uh, I just know from past experience that. Uh, I tend to break the plastic ones, so I just went ahead and, and uh, put an aluminum one on. Plus, uh, aluminum front bulkhead gives you just a tick more steering, usually. So, um, that's, uh, that's kind of the plan. Okay, so now... Daniel says, I'm going to wait for the B6 4D. <laughs> so uh, I, I would assume that when a new car comes out, it'll probably be a B7. I, I, I don't think they'd go past a point three. Maybe they will. I don't know. But I would, I would hope that they just call it a B7 at some point. Roger Nemec is on here. Um, we have, let's see, we sold two today. So we have six left. And uh, we have one carpet car left. And yeah. Peter Renault said he got the steel bulkhead for the T62. Yeah, I was, uh, I think uh, when we go back on carpet, I think the um, I think the uh, um, the steel bulkhead's pretty rad. I think it's a really good idea. I do with that. RC Glocks on here from Ohio. It's pretty rad. You're uh, 
putting together a B63 slowly but surely. We got the new um, shock tower guard here. So instead of having, oh, I'm dumb. Maybe I should follow the steps first. So instead of uh, instead of having the, actually that's a really good. That's so, mm, this is really cool. I like this. Uh, so the old way they had it was the screw still protruded a little bit um, through the shock holes. Well, now this is actually going over it. So if you br that's also cool too because if you break this, you don't have to take apart all of your. Uh, you don't have to take apart uh, your shock mount. That's kind of nice. Uh, three by twenty. Three by twenty. Cole Webb wants to know why you choose associated over TLR. Um, I don't know. It's uh, when TLR comes out with a new car, um, we'll probably get it and uh, drive it and race it. When uh, when Associated comes out with a new car, I uh, get it and I drive it and I race it. You know, um, I will say since uh, since I gave up my um, TLR sponsorship a couple years ago that I. Uh, I just found that the associated car, the B6 at least, um, series, just suited me better. I was instantly faster. So it's uh, nothing personal. Um, you know, I don't really, I don't have any animus or any sort of um, brand loyalty when it comes to either. But I just know that when I had a 5.0 last year, and I was struggling, and then I bought a 6.2 and uh, went out on the track. I was instantly faster and just felt a lot more comfortable with the car. So, um, But like I said, when uh, when TLR comes out with another new car, because everybody's going to come out with a new car at some point, right? Um, I will definitely get one, and uh, I'll probably be racing it for a little while. So I don't know. It's just kind of fun to build new stuff and and uh, put it together and see what you can do with it. When uh, when it comes time for me to race four wheel drive again, of course I'll uh, I'll be honoring my Techno sponsorship and be running the EV four ten. But luckily, Techno doesn't make a two wheel drive, so. I get to race whatever I want. That is really slick. So that that's the new front shock tower. You can kind of see that there. Um, so the old one, this cover uh, was held on by the screws holding the shock mounts on. And now it's held on by these two front screws. So if you break this, you know, if it gets hung up or whatever and it breaks um, and you need a shock tower cover, you can just put on a new shock tower cover and you don't have to take your your screws off uh, that hold your shock on. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I like it a lot. Yes, Roger, you can use a coupon. I think you got till the first for that new one to expire, so you better use it while you got it. DC's on here. Just finished my B74. I'm planning to paint it like an old golf car. Looking at dyeing some solid wheels orange. Um, have you seen the other buggies with wheels that weren't white or lime? Um, not that often. There's a uh, there's a Japanese driver on the world scale that uh, that actually drives um, orange 
is it uh, Shin? Uh, God, what's his last name? I can't remember his last name. But uh, other than that, you don't really see that very often. Even black. You know, I always thought that uh, it would be really cool to have black wheels, but then you put them on and you realize that you can't see your car. So uh, that's why white and yellow are just still so popular. Um, but I think it'd be cool to see some different colored wheels. Should have done this before I... Uh... Ah. Derp -a -der. Yeah, I saw that. We we're up to 30 for a little while there. It's weird. It seems like 30 is kind of uh kind of where we sit. I'm not sure if that's if that's something that Facebook or not Facebook, but uh, YouTube just kind of maybe has on us, or if it's uh, it's just the same thirty that are always watching our program. Oh, is that who that is? Is that Dylan? Or is that, um, yeah. That's pretty cool. Okay, uh, where am I at? Let's see. Oh, I got to put on that wing mount. So you got your integrated wing mount here, which is pretty awesome. And your three by fourteens. And uh, ah, so I'm finally getting new uh, car body painted for this too. So, um, you know, every time that. Uh, Every time that I get a new car body and it has to be painted, it's an extra 45 bucks, right? Or 50 bucks. So I don't get new bodies done that often. So I was actually running my original uh, B6 body all the way up through my B6-2s. And I've had uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different B6-1 or 2s. So, uh, uh, <laughs> So, um, uh, I finally broke down and gave, uh, this car body to my painter. So there's, there's a little bit more just, it just never ends. Okay. Uh, let me make sure that I didn't forget anything because sometimes I do that when I'm talking and those of you that have ever been rung up by me at the store can attest to that. I feel like I feel like that's everything on that one. Yeah. Okay. Got a little kickstart so I don't fall asleep on you guys. Bag number three. Do you think that they didn't letter the bags so that you don't get the D-bag uh, Facebook posts anymore? Because there's nothing better than getting the bag D. We don't need these. See, I got mine. 
red toolbox here full of uh, full of stuff that uh, full of parts that I don't use. That's trash. Got to clean up my area a little bit here. I never use these, so I'm gonna trash those. This. So, uh, uh, Cole, I'll bring you one of these to uh, Monday or not Monday, but uh, tomorrow or Saturday. I'm just going to bring this whole box. So you get your choice, black or blue, since this car doesn't use them. And uh, these I ended up with extra screws, which is weird, except that um, I actually used the same screws from the uh, other car. Oh, that's why I have it extra, because they're on the servo horn. I was freaking myself out. I'm like, why do I have all these extra screws? And uh, it's because uh, I use the same servo, so. And that should be okay. Here's those new, uh, there's new uh, waterfalls there. A couple different transmission pieces why do I get the feeling like this is not the right bag oh there's bag three Ugh. just made a mess fail live stream fail I got ahead of myself This is bag three. I mean, that was bag three as well, but this is bag three of bag two. <laughs> Bob Hall says, uh, I snapped everyone my Techno ET uh, D bag, and they didn't find it as amusing as I do. Yeah, some people don't get the D bag jokes. I mean, I got it. Daniel wants to know: Can you get coupons in the mail for Hobby Town? Uh, so I believe, Daniel, that if you sign up at HobbyTown.com uh, for the newsletter or whatever, that you can get coupons that way. Uh, we hate coupons. <laughs> because they really cut into our margins bad, but you know, nowadays it seems like you got to use them. So, so go ahead and take $15 from us. That's cool. It's just a light bill, you know, three R we don't want to use three R. Do we? Yeah. We're using four. Where's my four is at? Four and four. We're going to put these away in the box. More stuff that I don't use. <clears throat> Take this off of here. Yeah, that's weird. That Peter, that's kind of weirding me out that that piece is gone because that's the same. That's actually a piece that's been on back order for uh, like months from uh, from Associated. So hopefully, hopefully it's not actually just missing. Although I don't see it in my box here, so I'm kind of getting a little worried that it might actually be missing. In which case, I'll be. Uh, Calling associated tomorrow. <laughs> Being, uh, hey guys. Yeah, so I have this part and I kind of need it. Uh, let's see. Uh, Bob, there's usually a truggy class on Saturdays, although this Saturday, this last Saturday, we didn't have one. Um, I honestly didn't want to race mine because, uh, I don't have any tires. So if I can't get tires by next weekend, 
then uh, I'm stuck with the tires that I have. So I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to use up my tires if I didn't have to. Um, but there is normally some, we just, uh, we had kind of a light turnout. We had about 60 entries, um, on Saturday. So, um, you know, kind of was what it was. John was there. He was ready to race, but, uh, I don't think Ronnie had his, um, Trey Wasaki wasn't there. Um, Poteet wasn't there. Dan Gangler wasn't there. So it was just kind of a weird day. Uh, Cole, I'll just look and see what I have. I think I have some, uh, I think most of the stuff is like the optional stuff, not the, uh, um, it's not anything that extra. Um, but I'll look, I'll look and see what I have. Peter says, where are your trays for each bag? I'm not that organized. <laughs> Quite honestly, I'm, I'm not a very well-organized individual when it comes to this stuff. Will is the... Uh, Will Brenton is the much more organized um, RC car racer. I just put stuff together. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, I got Hobbyplex stickers uh, or Hobbyplex. Um, um, I got Hobbyplex show stickers back in stock. I'm actually going to get uh, some stickers made up for the store as well here pretty soon. Um, I, uh, I, I, I kind of forgot about him to be honest with you the other day. Oh God. Okay. And, Where's my thread lock at? Good night, Lance. Yeah, sorry I have to start so late on uh, on Thursdays now, but unfortunately I don't get out of work until, you know, 8.45 or so, and then I got to come home and eat something really quick and and just uh kind of is what it is unfortunately okay and this guy Made sure to actually charge my drill tonight. It was dead, which makes putting a kit together very difficult. Not my favorite thing. I don't know how we lived without these uh, for all those years back in the day. I mean, I've put together a lot of cars by hand, which at this point is bonkers to me. Absolutely bonkers. Well, 
why don't why doesn't the plex open at seven and you guys get out earlier yeah um i don't know i don't i've never really complained about our hours it's just that um for a while there you know i was getting off on thursdays at uh at seven and uh kip was closing and now it's the opposite so unfortunately it just kind of is the way it is all right so here's a little something that uh um i highly recommend doing but i'm not going to do it again because i don't have time so if uh if i did have time it'd be something that is kind of a cool thing to do but also kind of a smart thing to do basically with your carbon fiber I'm talking about shock towers and uh, these little guys here. You can take a black Sharpie and you Sharpie the end. Okay. See if this, like, see if I get this to come up at all. Oh, you kind of see that, I guess. Not really, but whatever. So you Sharpie the, uh, you sharpie the ends, and then you can seal it by taking um, CA glue. And usually if you use like a medium or thick, it works really good. And you just dab it, and then you hit it with, uh, um, you hit it with the uh, accelerator. And the super glue will actually um, seal the ends of your carbon fiber up and the reason why you sharpie it because then it has this really cool sheen to it it looks really nice too um i've done that on touring cars a lot um especially uh chassis like uh, the carbon fiber chassis and stuff um makes it look really cool but also like works really good so it's uh it's kind of a neat thing to do. Yeah, sorry, Travis. I'm super boring tonight. <laughs> it might be on wrong, but whatever. Um, Cole Webb wants to know what happened to Emerson's car smoking. So, uh, basically his motors gave out. And, uh, the only thing that I can think of is that, um, it was kind of, it was an older motor, but his car was, I don't know if you guys could tell, but his car was really loud. Right. And, uh, it's very possible that we had a, a frozen bearing. And uh, that bearing finally locked up. And then when I landed off that jump really hard and uh, didn't go anywhere and then gave it gas to go, that's where the smoke came from. So kind of, I guess I should be uh, happy that it wasn't, um, what did I just do with that? I should be happy that it wasn't anything worse than that because um, I thought it was I thought it was like a speed controller, and uh, that would have really been bad. But then again, the speed controller having that car is probably five years old, two thousand fourteen maybe. So he probably is due for a new one anyways. So.
Yep, I got that on the wrong end. Gosh darn it. Yeah, I talked about it on the podcast a little bit. I was like, I hadn't, uh, Emerson hasn't driven that car since the J Concepts race in February 7th or something like that. So, um, it was kind of, it's kind of fun just taking that car as it was and just sort of going out there and driving it. Not really getting all worked up over setup or anything like that, you know? DC's on here. He says, see ya. Yeah, it's past your bedtime, too. Um, yeah, I know who you are. <laughs> you won Saturday. Good job. Cool looking truck, too. I like super wrestlers. Four by four buses. All right. Those are on the right way now. Hopefully, I didn't forget anything. And now we've got our do the inside hole. Um, yeah, something I can uh, announce tonight. There's only 22 of you guys on now, but uh, um, we are going to be holding the uh, Roar Region 8 Off-Road Regional October 2nd. So it'll be the weekend of uh, October 1st and 2nd. And uh, that'll pretty much finish off our dirt season because the following week after that, we'll go right into carpet on Saturday. So um, October 2nd and then that following Saturday, October 9th, Carpet Off-Road Syndicate. Bam, bam, bam. So I just uh, sent off the paperwork today. I got to get um, Hobbytown's uh, Roar account in good standing to, uh, to kind of seal the deal. And once I do that, then uh, we'll be good to go. So um, that's uh, three weeks. Two weeks after the uh, Summer Series Finals. So. Hopefully that's enough time for everybody. It's just going to be a one-day race. Um, traditionally, uh, roar races don't kind of garner as much um, turnout as, say, our spring champs next weekend just because um, you have to pay for your roar membership too. And, you know, that's kind of a turnoff for some people. So kind of is what it is. Um, oh, you know what? That's a no, I didn't yet. It's still on my phone. I, uh, I kid you not, every single night I've meant to post the Plex Spec A main from Saturday, and every single night my phone's been at like six percent. So I keep forgetting about it. In fact, right now my phone's at 17 percent and my charger's at work. So, uh, I keep getting in that situation where I mean to, and then because I'm not uh, an organized person right now. Um, I, uh, I'm unable to, and then I get to work because the way my life works is I wake up, I jump in the shower, I go to Casey's and then I go to work. And then at work, all I really think about is work. And so I totally forgot about it, but I'll have it up. I swear. Um, gosh, I don't know why I forgot again. I'm super lame. <laughs> Cole, Roar is not when the pros show up. Uh, the pros show up for like the J Concepts race that we had. Um, you know, you had two-time world champ uh, Ryan Mayfield there. 
he had uh, um, the big dogs. Uh, to be honest with you, dude, the pros show up for the summer series. I mean, look at look at last year. We had uh, Tom Rinderneck, Mason Fuller, Aiden Horn, um, Ryan Harris came out. Um, I think you'll see that again this year. I think our summer series is uh, is uh, kind of a big deal right now. So um, you might even see more than that. You might even see it pick up a little bit. Um, the pros don't really like Roar that much. <laughs> it's it's uh, they they kind of have to go to the nationals, but um, in a way it it it's hard to explain. Being a previous Roar competition director um, and Roar Region Eight director myself way back in the day um it's just not the same as it was say 30 years ago maybe longer than that i mean uh if the pros had their way they wouldn't go to a roar race and it's nothing against roar it's just the fact that that i don't know how to explain it there's a uh, there's this weird animus that exists now between the pro teams and the pro drivers and the roar people and even Ifmar. It's just this weird animus. And honestly, I didn't like being a I didn't like being on the wrong side of that animus. So that's why one of the reasons why I got out of being a roar guy altogether. So um yeah, the regionals are going to be fun, but it it's just going to be it's going to be a nice laid back easy one day race for us. Kind of like just a summer series with an extra qualifier. So um yeah. There's that. So Trust me, I'm not anti roar. Don't take that as being anti roar. I'm just telling you guys how it is. If, uh, if the pros had their way, they wouldn't go to a roar race. But because, uh, but because the roar races are contingency races for the pros they go to them you know and they want to win them so uh cole tessman was here for the 2016 uh roar nats 2016 um Um, he was running hot bodies back then and, uh, did pretty good. I think he qualified second or third. And I think him and Ryan Mayfield were battling hard for, uh, um, the win. I think I know Mayfield won four wheel drive, um, at the roar nets, but I think, I think Tessman was right there for most of it. And then I think in two wheel drive, I think they were battling for second because Dakota was gone. So, um, yeah, yeah, he was here. I can tell you they didn't like the tire sauce rule, <laughs> but it was the same for everybody. Supposedly, you just run whatever you want. Who cares? John Haas, the uh, the schedule for the ProTech race is uh, Thursday practice from 4 to 10. No, 4 to 9. Uh, Friday practice from 10 to 6. Seating round, I think I have scheduled at 6.30 or 7. I don't know, whatever's on the flyer. And then uh, practice from 7 a.m. to 8.30. Qualifying starts at 9. Three rounds of qualifying. Right now there's 28 heats. 
So if you take 28 heats and average it out to 10 minutes of heat, which is a lot, you don't want that. You want less than that. But let's just, for the sake of argument, say it's 28 heats. So 280 minutes, divide that by 60. Um, you know, so 28 divided by six is four, four and a half hours of racing. But if we are on time, we can knock out eight minutes of heat. So you could get it to four hours of heat or around. So then you could have like um, be a 12 hour day of qualifying plus the extracurricular activities at the end. And then Sunday doors open at eight. We start mains at nine. We're usually done by five o'clock or so. So, yeah, busy, 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 busy. <clears throat> I did see Tespin's goatee. It looks good. It's he's kind of like adulting. It's 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 like a. It's like he's an adult. He gets to have a goatee. I'll tell you what. I will never shave this off because my chin is hideous. So. Uh, Friday is controlled practice. Controlled practice. Um, I'll probably turn controlled practice on at like 11 a.m. all the way up to, you know, um, all the way up to the seating round. So. Yeah. Okay. I'm kind of beat. I'm starting to feel it. So I'm going to put this all in a baggie and uh, I will pick it up tomorrow. Um, and hopefully have a car ready to go. I wish I could do a build video for you guys on this one. But like I said, I just, I'm going to run out of time. So. I'm just going to slam through it and uh, maybe I'll do like a cheesy critique video or something at some point, but for now we'll call it good. So I'm, uh, I think I'm going to go to bed. <clears throat> so I got to make sure my cat doesn't get in anything and, uh, Get ready for work tomorrow. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Um, uh, no after hours next week because I'll be at the track. Um, I don't know. We could do like a live thing for a little while at the track. That'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? We'll see how much time I have, see what I'm doing. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, either way. Um, we'll definitely be back for after hours the following Thursday. Um, of course you can catch up on the uh, podcast, um, six ish on Mondays. Will Brinton and I will be there to talk about this weekend's club racing and more. And, uh, we'll see what else we can do for you guys. So thanks for tuning in. Um, I actually got some stuff done on an after hour show, so that's always nice. <laughs> So, all right, I'm leaving. I'll see you guys later. Bye.